how do I prevent the canna leaf roller from eating up my beautiful mm. cannas <laughs> in a pollinator friendly way? Yeah. And this is Alice from Memphis, Tennessee. So a pollinator friendly so way. So in a pollinator friendly yeah. way, um, you're not going to prevent the, the the moth from coming in and laying egg on the plant. It's so it is happen. a moth? It is a moth, okay. yes. Uh, the lesser canna leaf roller, there's a couple of different ones. Okay. Um, but you can control it with a couple of different methods. If you're wanting to be pollinator friendly, BT, which is a biological yeah. control that only affects caterpillars, mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> will work on it and uh, you would apply that to the foliage. Uh, if you can't use that or it's not working for you, you can use a product like that contains carbonyl. Carbarel. Right? No, Carbarel. Carbarel. <laughs> Close enough. Um, yeah. And uh, if you're going to do that, and this is what I use at my house a lot of times, I cut all the blooms off the plant. Oh, nice. So I remove all the flowers, whether it's on a uh, knockout rose that I'm spraying for Japanese beetles or the, the canna leaf roller, I cut the flowers off before I apply the product. Okay. And then I'm not worried about the bees getting the product oh, on them. And so that, that's good a good way. With that canna leaf roller, you need to start early in the season because then once it gets down in that funnel, that, that yeah. rolled up leaf, and, and it knits it together with its silk threads. It's hard it's to get tough. the product down in there. Yeah. And it's very frustrating. Uh, if you've got a bad <laughs> yeah. case of it, the best thing to do is just cut all the foliage off yeah, and dispose of it, not in, it. not in the compost, sure. in the trash, or burn it. Um, and then just fertilize them well and they'll put out new growth again. Oh, Cannas are good about okay. jumping right back. Oh yeah, cannas are tough. Okay. So uh, you can just you know, cut it down and start all over. So how early again in the season would you? Well, I, I would start, I mean, I've had them as early as, as, as the first of May, depending wow. on the season okay. of the yeah. year, but yeah. typically yeah. it's more late May when I start okay. seeing them. This year, I was, it was about the middle of May when I first saw my first that? ones this year, and then so I started the, the process. They aggravated me so oh. bad, I've just all but quit <laughs> having cannons. So we I love them. I love them. <laughs> I've eliminated all the cannons here except in maybe three spots because wow. I just couldn't take care of it all. Mm -hmm. And in my house, I, I've stuck with two that I really like, Bengal Tiger and Tropicana, that I really grow for the foliage anyway so okay. I keep the flowers cut off all the time oh, so you do. and okay. then I don't have to worry about, don't worry about spraying. Oh, I really grow sense. them for the foliage. Thanks for watching the video. We hope you enjoyed. To subscribe, click below.